right now. Let's visit with Oliver Slope of Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Find out what the excitement is all about in the soybean trade. Any word on the floor there, Oliver? You know, I think a lot of this has been uh, some technical buying, but at the end of the day, we're really just at the top end of the range that we've been in for the last three months. 999 to 1004 has kind of been the resistance pocket we've been looking at. I think this is an opportunity if your producer maybe takes some risk off the table. But if we are able to get a close above 1004, we could see the funds extend their net long position towards 1021. With uh, the Thanksgiving holiday last week, we didn't get the commitment of traders. That'll be released here this afternoon. That'll give us a little bit better idea where the funds stand. You know, if, if they do kind of fail out uh, here at the $10 mark, we could see a little bit of long liquidation, but I don't think it would be too big of cause for concern just in the middle of a range here. Now, I was reading some comments earlier today where the commodity funds as of last Friday, on Friday alone, they were said to have sold um, several thousand uh, corn contracts and soybean contracts and wheat too. Yeah, I think they sold about 3,000 corn, uh, 4,500 wheat, and 4,000 beans. So they were sellers on Friday. We did have December option expiration, so we are starting to look out to the further months, specifically in that corn and wheat market. We're going out to March. I think 361 is going to be a big level. We still got a ways to get above that uh, to get some momentum going. If we break below 348 and three quarters, that was the lows here recently. I think there could be some accelerated selling pressure, as mentioned with the funds. Uh, the Thanksgiving holiday pushed the commitment of traders out until today. And last time we saw that report, we saw an, a record net short position. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it pretty close to that again here this uh, today. I want to touch on the wheat markets. And we were actually looking earlier this morning at some uh, wheat bar charts in Chicago. Wheat now down five at uh, 410 and three quarters on that nearby December contract. March down five and a quarter at 429 and a half. If you look at Kansas City wheat, we have the March contract there down four and a half at 427 and a half per bushel. Even New Crop July down four and a quarter at 459. And Minneapolis wheat surprised a few folks this morning. It was down uh, significantly. We're down six on December right now and March down four and a half at 634. Boy, when you look at a uh, wheat chart, um, is there any optimism in there anywhere anytime soon here, Oliver? Uh, there, there really hasn't been any for some time, and I don't expect that to change until we get a fundamental shift. We know we have ample supplies, and the demand and the exports have been relatively dismal. So I think you're going to want to sell any rallies that we get, and rallies probably aren't going to be new buyers stepping into the market. It's likely going to be short covering. So going out to the March uh, Chicago wheat contract, we're looking at resistance 445 to 452. This is kind to the top end of the range, as well as the 50-day moving average, uh, an indicator we have not closed above since July. So until we can get uh, some further signs of momentum above these technical levels, I, I think the bears remain in total control here, and we could pro potentially see a three-handle in that March contract.